In this episode, we cover a video shoutout player for Streamlabs, where you can really highlight a streamer that really matters to you, be it from a raid or just a, just giving them a bit more attention. Giving a regular shoutout with custom shoutout support, and also showing a video from a random clip pulled from their channel. Hello and welcome to Streamer Bot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome Streamer Bot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier to get started and to add functionality to your stream. Let's get started with the topic for this video. Before we start, please make sure you are running Streamer Bot 0.1.4 or later. There are some functionalities in here that um, will cause instability in older versions of streamer bots, so I do not recommend you use an older version. This video is going to be released shortly after streamer bot 0.1.4 goes live, so uh, it is going to be available in the usual spot under streamer.bot. The first thing we need to set up for the video shoutout is to have a browser source. Now I'd suggest to have this as a separate scene first, along with any other alerts you may have. So I'm having a scene called alerts. This is generally a best practice way, so you can then have an alert scene in every one of your other scenes. So um, there's a concept of nesting. So I'm gonna add a source in here to the browser source. I'm going to call that shout out. The URL should be about blank, which means it's a blank page by default. So Streambot will change this and change it back again whenever it runs. The height should be 450. That's the dimensions of the video. Everything is optimized around that. If you have this as the size, if you want to make changes to the size, then you can resize. Please note, do not use the local file option. This will stop the URL working that we push to the browser control here. And that is it, we're all set to go. So once the broadcaster software is set up, we need to import the action into Streambot. So the action is going to be in the video description below. If you're watching this directly from Discord, then uh, you'll find it in the Discord posting, either in Streambot or the Shifting Realities area. So we can right click and import as before. Now there's a guide to import um, into Streambot if you're not sure about that. Uh, please note you do have to have OBS or slobs connected to be able to go through this. You can see here, two actions are imported. One which is just for the failed shoutout, so if it's not a valid streamer, for example, or they have no shoutouts. And the video shoutout is the actual code itself. So you can see here, that's the failure there. And this is the video shoutout itself. There's, a, there's three things we need to configure in here. The first thing is the, the browser source. And so that's the source that we, we actually made just before this section. So it's shout out like this. And the shout out scene, we're using an alert scene. So using alerts there. So that's the most of the configuration done. We need to do one more step. And because we're using C sharp code, is here to execute code we need to make sure that compiles now by default if we just try compile it won't work we need to be uh, having valid references if we try to find reference it doesn't add any more so there's two we need to add in here so if we right click and add reference and file it's worthwhile noting this is a location it brings up 
I believe by default. If not, you can go to C, Windows, Microsoft.net, Framework, etc. Whatever's down here, go to that same location. If you type in system.dll, that's going to be the first one we want to add. And another one, system.core, C-O-R-E, dot D-L-L. Those are the two that are needed in there. Now if we click and compile, wait a moment, you can see here it's compiled successfully. So with those steps, we've configured the video shout out for the bot. Of course, now we need to add a command to trigger the action. So we add it in there, use exclamation SO if you want just to use that as an override for your shout outs or VSO maybe. That's what I'm going to use here. And in the action, we're going to select video shout out and the permissions, I'm going to use moderators. So we've got the command set up. We've got the action set up and now we're ready to test. So now we're ready to test this in Streamlabs. Now we're in the alert scene, so it's going to show up in here. Simply use the command VSO and the streamer name itself. So we go off lab in this case. So we can see here it's done a regular shout out. It's then doing a uh, another clip here, which is me of a clip. <laughs> Clipception occurs. When this clip has finished, it will go through and automatically shut things down for us. There we go. All black, all ready to go on. Now if you want to customize the HTML code within the shout out further, or if you want to rely on the uh, vrflad.com to um, pull the shout out, what we need to do is download this. Now the easiest way is actually just grab the URL from here. We'll put it in a browser. And then we can save it as, and save it into my stream stuff folder I have there. And when that's in there, we just run that. Grab this address that's now in there, so it's in my C drive. Go to StreamerBot and paste that in. So we can see that's now configured. It doesn't need to go to a different site to get the player. You can customize it further if you want to. And finally, just to walk you through what uh, I've used to build up this. Um, some of the code has been uh, actually already provided by Nate uh, in the release notes when we actually had the code to get clips. But uh, this one here is just a very simple send message to channel just to say they're not a streamer or doesn't exist, nice and simple. The video shout out, we have two globals. Now these are persisted values here. So these are the, the source and the browser, uh, browser source and the scene that we're using. The file there, which we can customize if you want to. So they're setting globals, which the code then picks up later on. Now we're doing things that are actually exactly the same as a custom shout out. So we get the target information from the inputs. So the user that we're doing from, so it gets the Twitch, Twitch information. If that user isn't there, or if they don't actually have a game, then they're not a streamer and we should break. Otherwise, it's going to get the specific details um, for that user, and it's going to then be a uh, custom shout out. So if you have custom shout out for them, we'll grab that. Then we'll do the shout out message, including that custom shout out. So it puts the custom shout out code first here picks out the user that we've put in place, puts their Twitch address in there, and the game they were last playing. Finally, the heavy stuff. So this is the uh, C-shop code. We can see here we're pulling in from the variable 
tactic global variable to shout out scene and shout out browser source. So within the code here, we can refer to them as scene and source. A video player file, which is going to pull the shout out file. So that's by default vrflad.com slash shout out.html. But it'll be, if you change it in the actions, sub actions above, it pulls it into the script. We get the target user. So again, this is from the Twitch um, get information from user command. We then use the get clips for user built in function for the username. If it doesn't have any, then we stop processing. We say we don't have any clips to the channel on a sad face and we return false. Return false will stop the processing of C sharp further. But if we do have those, we pull it in and we order by, um, you pull the clips in and order them. Um, we get, um, get a, a random one, so that's great. Um, we set arguments in case you want to use them later. We don't actually need these strictly, but they're there just in case you want to refer to these uh, within the actions later on. So if you want to use them somehow by um, by extending the actions, I've left them in there for you. But this is a standard code which Nate's provided. Now there's an embed URL. This part isn't actually needed. Um, the way we actually build up the uh, video file is actually based on the um, thumbnail image, which is related to the video file. Otherwise, we need to use a, a different URL, but we've left it in here um, so we can actually so we can actually um, rely on that should APIs change. And I can then push a new version of the, the player to vrflad.com and people can re-download it. Um, these won't be in there in the live code, so don't worry about that. The next action will be slightly different for OBS and SOBS, but I'm not going to record this twice. Um, but that's setting the browser source of the scene, the source, and the video player file, which will be built up there. So that kicks off the video shout out. We've got the delay um, for the, the, the duration of the video clip. We add another two seconds to give it time to actually load the page. Um, fortunately, the page will go to a blank state at the end, so it, it means that you're not going to cut things off um, with a two seconds delay, but also you're not going to leave a hung image on there. So it more it keeps the queue hung up for another couple of seconds, worst case. But typically with latencies, it's going to look quite good. We're going to put a wait for that amount of time before we revert the scene and source back to about blank here. And that's the code finished. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you like covered, please do let me know in the comments or also on Discord. Check my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. So the links to my Twitch, social media and to stream a bot can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide stream bot content can be found in the description too. Finally, thank you so much to Nate for making a great bot. Please do consider supporting his Patreon, which is linked from streamer.bot.